hello everyone and welcome to my video um it's been a while since i have posted anything on my channel but here i am i'm gonna try to be consistent and bring more content to you guys and so with all further ado let's start with the video as you guys can see i am removing all her gel polish off her nails um usually i go up and down to remove the gel polish but at this point i'm all over the place i am just gonna go ahead side to side this is a three week set um and they're still pretty good she has barely any lifting on her nails now my client usually brings her own inspiration um but this time around she was inspired by me i did this original set on myself i had long nails um you guys will see sometimes i have long short nails depending on how i feel now this set was pink and orange ombre french tip which i think it looks so cute and amazing like that and she loved it as well but it's time to go now my client did request it for me to shorten her nails just a bit she's comfortable with the length she loves the length um as it is right now but again she comes every three weeks so she didn't want to risk it of breaking a nail so she was just like just bring it down a little bit now as you guys can see here i am creating a little line between the pocket the air pocket and the nail to remove all that um lifting that she has there which is not a lot uh to be honest with you and they look great now i am using a five and one uh bit you guys can find this on amazon but then again i'll i'll go ahead and leave the description in the in the box below also i want to give a shout out to my client she's an amazing person she is awesome guys uh she did a nail blog uh, with this set and the set that we're gonna be creating as well and let me tell you guys every time she comes it is amazing um i had to get ready every time she comes this time around i did not get ready and that is my fault i should have known i should be prepared that every time she's gonna come to me she's gonna be doing a video so your girl's slacking i am slacking of not getting dressed okay so i apologize for that so i'm gonna leave also all her um social media handles on the description box below so you guys can go ahead and follow her and stalk her page and watch the nail vlog she is amazing again so shout out to my client but let me shout out to all my clients okay you girls are amazing please do not get jealous i love you guys all so um again i am going up and down side to side to remove all her gel polish and as you guys can see here I, the way i'm holding the thumb um sometimes i do that just to have a better control over the thumb and it's just it works for me better but you guys can do whatever you guys feel comfortable and how however you guys will want to work everybody has its own way of working so yeah so i find it better that way on holding the thumb that way
we're gonna be bringing down her nails just a bit as um, she requested and I am using my hand file my hand file is 100 to 180 grip I do find these in my local store I do not buy them online just because I am picky with my hand files um, I sometimes use my e-file I do have a Kiara Sky um, e-file and I, I love that um, e-file is amazing um, now uh, some nail tech they will use the e-file but I do not like to use the e-file when I am going to shape I only use the e-file when I'm going to clean the cuticle or when I am going to seal the acrylic um, I do not like to shape with my e-file I've been always shaping my nails hand file and I have always stuck to that way is how I learn and I just feel like it's so much comfortable for me I have a better control of what I am doing when I am going to file I'm a little bit scared of the e-file believe it or not even though i've been in doing nails for 11 years now but i do kind of get scared with the e-file at times so i try to stay awake with it <laughs> as much as i can um and as you guys can see i do go side to side she did wanted to keep her almond nails and when i am filing i go side to side and i always keep in mind that um the almond looks like an almond so <laughs> the almond shape looks like an almond so um i go ahead and do side by side and i try to level everything within the middle um and level everything to her knuckle as well and as you guys can see i do go underneath the nail and i kind of shape it up shape up the nails and uh shape anything or clean anything underneath her nails that is hanging any nail hanging or any material hanging that has grown out throughout the three weeks We're going to be cleaning her cuticles and I am just going to be going gently around the cuticles just to agitate the dead skin um, that she has built up throughout the whole three weeks around the cuticle. I am using a sanding bit and this is a fine grit. I do buy these in my local store. I do not buy them online, but I am pretty sure you can find them in Amazon. I do not like to use the coarse bit nor a medium bit um, just because you can create a ring fire ring fire i think that's how you say it ring fire around their cuticle and you don't want to do that you don't want to cause any damage to the natural nail So chicas, this is one of my favorite parts <laughs> when I am doing nails because I live by this ball bit. This ball bit is amazing. It has changed my game completely when I am doing refills or when I am just overall um, doing a full set. Just the fact that it just goes in deep this ball bit to just clean your cuticle area it is amazing if you guys have not yet to get one please go ahead and do so i did buy this in amazon 
um i will be leaving the information in the description box below um they come in three sizes i believe i think this one was a medium one that i am using they come with a large a medium and a small so i usually attempt to go with the the medium one um again guys this is really really good i am telling you if you guys have not yet to buy one of these i would highly recommend it and you guys will fall in love with it if i don't have a my ball bit anywhere around me i'm like that's it i'm done like <laughs> the nails will not come out right like how i would love for them to come out i'm really picky when it comes down to the cuticles i try not to go too in deep and try to go softly and gentle around the cuticle area So once I am done prepping the nails and now I am ready to start my acrylic application, I am using a protein bond from Young Nails. Um, I live by this protein bond. It is amazing. It has gave me amazing results when it comes down to lifting. And guys, please make sure that you guys are practicing your prepping and just focus on that. Don't worry about anything else. Don't worry about your nail art or your acrylic application application as long as you're worrying first about your prepping i am telling you that everything else will come in smoothly okay and now i am using the kiara sky dipping dish and yes there's no spill on that it is amazing it is amazing you have to get yourself one of those okay and if you don't have money for kiara sky it is okay just go on amazon and i am sure in amazon they sell those as well and as you guys can see i am taking a small bit um of acrylic is a small pearl of acrylic i am not putting too much of product on the nail um, i do not want to flush the cuticle with acrylic um and so i'm just letting gravity kind of do its work and just cleaning side to side and i am using the tip of my brush um if you guys saw that once i placed the acrylic i did not put a lot of pressure on the tip of my brush we do not want to put a lot of pressure on it okay and we just kind of want to let the acrylic just flow naturally to the nail and I placed the pearl right in between where the natural and the fill line meets. Okay, so the natural nail and the fill line where it meets, I placed the acrylic on there and I gently just put pressure on it and I tried not to flush the cuticle at all. I did forgot to mention um, I use a size 12 brush and these are my personal brushes and I used to uh, work with a size 22. I don't know in what right mind I thought that was okay to use a size 22 okay but it did the job and it worked for me. Um, so from a size 22 I went down to a size 16, 14 and I stood at 12. Um, I am comfortable with a size 12 now and it works good so i am using a five in one bit here as i used earlier to remove the gel and i am gently just going around the cuticle and just sealing the acrylic okay i am not going too much down to the tip and filing there's no need for me to go um towards the tip and filed at all because since this is just a fill
So once again, I am using my hand file and we're just going to reshape the nail, make sure that everything is good, give it the finishing touches. Um, we want to make sure that the nail is smooth so when we paint, it looks all nice and clean. So I'm going in with my cuticle oil and before I even buff, I like to place the oil around her cuticle. Um, I like to do this just because sometimes clients don't really rub the cuticle oil around their cuticle and let me tell you guys, cuticle oil, it is very important. A lot of clients or ourselves, we forget to put cuticle oil um, throughout the day. It is highly um, recommended to put cuticle oil around your cuticles twice a day but i get it we all busy we tend to forget i even forget but um i can tell you guys that when you put cuticle oil it helps um not to create a lot of lifting on your nails and also it is very good for your cuticle as well it doesn't um build a lot of dead skin around your cuticle so as you guys can see once i done um place the cuticle oil i buff and then i go in with my fingers and make sure there the oil is completely all over her nails um so that is very important to just rub the cuticles all around your hands okay all around your hands all around your nails it is very important guys so we are on to my favorite part so the original design that she had brought to me um the base coat was more of a bubble bath look um from opi and we did not have that color we tried recreating it by just taking a soft pink and adding some clear top coat but that did not work so we went on with this soft pink she only wanted one coat of the soft pink um and last set she had like neon colors and she did not want it more she did not want it like a summer look um this time around with this set nor she wanted like a sprint look she wanted um something in between and so she did request it for me to do the um french tip a little bit on the thicker side on the photo um the french tip was more on the thin side um but either way i think it looked just great um with just having it either thick or 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 thin and now i am using um the black from valentino i love this um black um it covers a lot not just i do not like black that is really watery and then you have to continue to put it on just so it could um look black um i just like it when with one stroke you can just go ahead and see the whole full black i i just love that when it covers a lot more and so i am going in with my um nail art brush i did get these off amazon again i will leave the information and the description box below
so i'm using my dotting tools i did get these dotting tools off amazon as well i will be leaving all that information in the description box below and i am just gently just placing dots and just creating a daisy type of flower on the nail and i am carrying it for 60 seconds and i am doing a one and nail at a time I am going in with my black gel paint and I am going to add just one dot in the middle of each flower just so it can give it a 3D dimension. I could have left it like that but as you guys can see here once I place the black um, dot on each flower it really pops out and it really looks really really good and you can see the flower right it comes back to life it comes to life guys. <laughs> I am now done with the design the client has approved and we're gonna be using Kiara Sky non wipe top coat I love to top coat guys it brings the whole design to life so guys this concludes for today's video let me know what you guys think in the comment below and share like subscribe give it a thumbs up okay so till next time chicas bye